Someone once again from Sony Tech. Now, welcome to this awesome tutorial where we'll be building a powerful chatbot app using Google's new Gemini AI and React Native. I am really excited about this particular build. Please stay committed to the end. And if you are new here, please subscribe, please like this video, and please share. It's for Gemini Docs, and it's still be presented to this page. So you can click here to generate your API keys or read the documentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on read the documentation, or let's just go with this one. So Gemini API from the product side. And we see here for the quick start, um, we have integrating uh, using Python, using Go, using Node.js, that Swift Android. So I was really sad when I didn't see that for React Native. So no SDK for React Native. But then when I saw for web, I smiled because I was like, okay, if this is web or there is web, it means it's JavaScript. And if it's JavaScript, I can do some tweaks to make it work for React Native. So let me show you what we have here. So this is just some prerequisites and some instructions here. So I'm going to be using this piece of code and we're going to be doing some tweaks to make it work fine. So stick with me to the end and trust me, you like this one. Please subscribe, like this video and comment to any your thoughts. Bye. Create an API key together. So I'm going to scroll down here and click on get an API key. And click on this button, get an API key. And let's give this some time to fire up. Okay. So you can see here I've created an API key already. So you click on create api key and search for any project from the google cloud um, platform or project and click on it and you see a model that says um copy api key with some um, string of characters okay so you've created an api key so keep it somewhere safe and reason it in the tutorial all right so my newly created app is a bit busy so my app.js has this gemini chat component um which is also busy with some use states and it prints out hello world and there are some imports from react native and also google generative ai so to um, be able to import this you need to install so run npm install google slash generative ai or yarn add google slash generative ai so great so just below my api key i'm going to run the use effects and inside of this use effects i'm going to run a function so i'm going to do const and let's call this function start chat it's going to be an asynchronous function and let me call the function below so i'm going to see start chat and this if this effect is not going to it's going to be run once so um no dependency array in here all right so great so inside of this function i'm going to be um copying some piece of code just as i showed you at the beginning from the documentation i'm going to do a little tweaks to some tweaks to this code so i'm going to copy this code and do some tweaks in here all right let me explain what i have inside of my use effects or inside of this start chat function so um this this first line here is going to create an instance of the google generative ai class which then we can use our api key or pass the api key inside so this is the api key we go from the ai studio and this um next thing stores whatever we retrieve from um the model which is a germany pro model inside this model variable so when, when i go here or i come here we see that we have a we have lots of models here so we have the germany pro we have the germany pro version and there's this bison text so this one actually helps us to generate text all right so we have this prompt variable here where we set it to hello so you can actually leave this as a string but from my experience creating the project when you leave it as a string you get um, a whole chunk of code or strings here so we, leave, we can leave it like so hello or hey there and now we have this result variable where you can then pass the prompt from the retrieve germany pro model so it's going to generate the content based on the prompts that we give which is the hello which is the default prompt here and now we get a response and we set it to this response variable and now we can convert the response into a text and set it to this text right we log the text inside of our terminal so we do console log and we pass in text and we get this response in our terminal so greetings how may i assist you today and hello how may i assist you today that is why it is good to pass in something here for the prompt so you can leave it as an empty string right so um we have this state which is messages and the set messages function which is set to an array so this is what we have here so the set messages function um it's an array of objects and we have this text and the user flag so this actually spreads the existing messages array 
right so once it spreads the existing messages are read then it creates a new messages object which then extracts the gemini's response to the response you get from our model and now we set the user flag to false or this user variable to false to indicate that there was a response right okay so now let me show you some other models um, we can get so apart from this bison text and bison chats uh, when you come here to aistudio.google.com and at the time when you click here so we have just the gemini 1.0 pro and you can actually test it and um, adjust the temperature to know how um, well or the best um, kind of response you get right okay so good so, um let's start with the ui but because this video is getting quite long or too long um, i'll be doing some things off record but i'll be explaining so let's create a view and let's give this view um some style of styles the input container okay and i'm going to pop in this piece of code here so we'll be creating this function soon and so i give it a place with of text sorry type a message all right so let me see if this let me comment this out so we don't get any issue and let's see what we get all right so great um okay so let's render our activity indicator here. so we say if loading and so what do we want to achieve so we can render our activity indicator here let me see if this is what i want okay i think this is fine this alone is fine and what else okay uh, think this should work fine okay so great so above here um let me comment this code out and we add a flat list because we'll be we'll be, we'll be working with some data and we would want to render data all right so let's pop in our flat list here so i said to see and let me get rid of this hello world and put my flat list here um okay so let's keep this simple right so let me get rid of everything here and let's do this at the top so we can do const what's happening to my typing so const render render message and so let's get the item right and we set it to an arrow function so in here i can paste whatever i copied here okay so um let's clean this up a bit so i can do render message okay so great so it's basically the same thing yes i'm trying to keep my code clean okay okay so we get an error um okay so let's pass in index here and let's see even see okay so i got rid of the parentheses here too as well and okay so it works fine let me just put this key thing here so we don't get that key issue so item dot text okay so this so now next um let's go ahead and create this function so we can come here and we can create this function okay so let me do this real quick and explain what i have so i'm going to set loading to true um and i want to do const user message okay so now let me copy the piece of code i have here it's basically same code yes i'll be doing some tweaks to it okay all right so um let me change this to so now we are setting up our, our, our prompt variable so it's going to be user message because now it's not going to be a default um sort of string so user message or text so whatever the user passes in the text input component right and uh, after this line 
what else can we do so now we can now set messages and what can we set it to we can now set it to the re so we are going to spread the messages and now we can set okay so now let's accept this so you distracted the text and now we set the user to false good and now we can set the user inputs on empty strings so it means that it should clear whatever is inside the text input after you are done with that then we set loading to false i think this is basically what we need to do okay let me um save this and what else let me uncomment this and let's test this out so it's all fingers crossed i think i'll have to do a little modification with the styling okay so i've added some styling so what did i do so i changed this thing from an inline style to an external style and this is what i have and i got rid of the margin top and the margin horizontal i made it just flex one uh okay so this is a bit faint so let's add please hooda color text color and you can set this to zero 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 for black oh thank you what's wrong let's set it to black okay so this should be fine okay so great so it's all fingers crossed now let's test our application um so now let's send hello hit enter Oof. nothing is showing okay so let's see what is java script let's give this some time right, so let's try and fix the issue so when i type what is javascript nothing happened um okay so let's change this to item and we can add inverted here so that we can change the direction of um how our items are rendered using the flat list it's going to be from top to down and let's see this and try again okay so what this java script okay so it's showing fine in our console so what the what's what then is the problem uh still okay let's debug together um okay yes i think i've seen it so it's render item is supposed to be like so okay so all fingers crossed let's see and try again oh <laughs> so you see greetings so let's try what is java script so what is javascript choose here so it's still loading okay boom so you see javascript is what what interpreted programming language let's try again so what is um okay print out a string in python let's see if we can actually write good so it shows here so we can actually add styling to this wow okay so guys essentially you've come to the end of this build and i hope you enjoyed it i'll be leaving a link to the source code in the description down below and all the links you use um feel free to comment and about anything you understand here bye